computer. Okay, welcome to online learning prepared by foreign teachers in grade six, Anuban Chunburi School. This video recording is for educational purposes only. My name is Teacher Edward and I will be your speaker for this afternoon. Let's have our review before we proceed to our uh, lesson today. Let's have a short and quick review. Last time, since this is our fourth time, right? This is our fourth lesson. Uh, last time in our third uh, session, we had, uh, we had studied about the digestive system, okay? So we study about what is a digestive system. Uh, what is the function of our digestive system? Functions of the different parts of the digestive system. And also how do we digest the food that we eat? Can you tell me, uh, anybody who can tell me how many parts of, uh, how many parts there are in our digestive system? 10. 10, okay. Can you tell me, uh, anybody here who can tell me from uh, number one to until number 10? Wants to tell me, uh, let's ask Chuntida. Can you tell me all 10 parts of the digestive system? Go ahead. Mouth. Mm -hmm. Next. Mouth, next to mouth, where will the food go? Esophagus. Esophagus. Next. Stomach. Stomach. Next to stomach. Liver. Liver. The food will not go to liver, but okay. Liver is part of the digestive system. Next. Small intestine. Small intestine. Good. Next. Large intestine. Large intestine. Next. Rectum. Rectum and? Anus. Anus. What are those, uh, what are, what are those part of the digestive system who are producing uh, bile, pancreatic juice? What are they? We have the liver. We have the pancreas and uh, gallbladder, which is where the bile is being stored, okay? So I hope you still remember them clearly. Right now there are how many students now? 36, okay, here. So this is the parts of the digestive system which we already discussed the functions and uh, how useful they are in our body. Now, these are the vocabularies that we've learned. Digestion, we studied this already, right? Uh, absorption, enzyme, saliva, toxins, feces, bile, and villi. Okay, so please turn on your camera so that uh, a lot of in our video your faces will be seen. Now, uh, among these words, which is a synonym, synonym of the word uh, poop or stool? Which one? Nataya? Pieces. Pieces, very good. Uh, who can answer which of these eight words that can we, uh, we can found inside the small intestine? Which of these eight words we can find inside the small intestine. Villi. Villi, very good. All right, so let's continue. Good thing that you still remember our lesson. Let's watch a video about uh, the, our digestive system.
Can you hear the sound? Can you hear the sound? Okay. Oops. Oops. Oops, excuse me. Oh, hello friends. Have you ever wondered where does the food go once it enters your body? Sorry. Well, worry no more. Because I'll tell you all about the human digestive system. Oops. <laughs> Come on, what are you waiting for? Zoom in! Digestion is a simple process where large insoluble food particles are broken down into smaller water-soluble molecules so that they can be absorbed by blood and give energy to different parts of our body. The process of digestion has a few stages and I'll take you through all of them. Come! Chewing is the first stage of the digestive system. When you chew your food, the food particles break down into little pieces that are easier to swallow. The saliva which contains a lot of enzymes mixes with those food particles and helps break down those food particles even more. Once you have completely chewed your food, the tongue helps to push the food particles down your throat. This process is called swallowing. The food travels through a long pipe called esophagus, also known as the food pipe. When the food particles have traveled through the food pipe, their next destination is the stomach, where those particles hang out for approximately four hours. The stomach releases a lot of acids and enzymes, which further break down the food particles so that these particles can be absorbed by your body. An enzyme called pepsin present in the stomach helps break down the proteins. Oh, and a lot of bacteria are killed by our superhero, the stomach, so that we don't fall sick. Destination next, the small intestine. Once the food particles reach the small intestine, a lot of juices from the liver and pancreas help break down those particles. The liver secretes bile, which helps break down fats. And the pancreas releases other enzymes to help digest all kinds of food particles. Now that the food particles are broken down, the small intestine absorbs them and transfers them to our body through blood. The particles that are not absorbed by the small intestine reach the large intestine. Now the large intestine absorbs water and other particles and sends the waste material out of your body. Trivia time! Did you know that our large intestine produces antibodies that help us boost our immunity? When your face becomes red due to blushing, the lining of your stomach becomes red too. So eat healthy, digest healthy, and live healthy. Tune in next time for more fun facts. This is me zooming out. Okay, so you might be asking, teacher, we're done discussing this. Well, our lesson for today is found, I think, in page 23 of your book. How can we take care of our digestive system? Okay, so there in your book, there are only four. But for today, uh, I provided some tips how we can take care of our digestive system. And instead of four, I made it nine. Okay, so I want you to ready your notebook uh when we are going to start our lesson so that you can copy some of those okay but before we're going to study how to take care of our digestive system let's study the vocabulary words first number one germ you can read it with me you can turn on or turn off your mic up to you but i want you to practice reading them one by one okay let's go back to number one Germ. Okay, number two. 
Two. Two. Number three, convert. Convert. Number four, nitrites. Nitrites. Requirement. Requirement. Preservatives. Preservatives. Undigested. Undigested. Okay. Uh, wait, there is a, one person here, one student here. He is not... What is this? Please change your name in English. Please, uh, please indicate your number. I don't know who this person is. Uh, you, sir, uh, wearing a headset. So you turn on your camera, but your name is in Thai. I cannot read it. Okay, so let's uh, study these words one by one. Let's begin with the first word, germ. Okay, so a germ is a microorganism. Microorganisms means very small. You cannot see it by our naked eye. These are the ones who cause, you know, diseases. They cause diseases. So germ, if our hands are dirty and then we're going to eat the food, so the germs from our hands will go to the food and when we eat the food, the germ can go inside our body and we will become sick. Okay? So uh, you need to be very careful with that. Because the germs will make us uh, sick. Second word. Chew. Okay. It means bite and work in the mouth with the teeth, especially to make it easier to swallow. Okay. See, this is the process of breaking down food into smaller pieces. Okay. So that is chewing. And not only making it into small pieces, but also mixing it with our saliva. Okay, so we chew our food. Okay, next is uh, convert. Okay, so this one is like uh, changing in colors. Because the meaning of convert is cause to change in form, character, or function. So it will change. Okay, there is a change there. Next word is nitrites. I think we studied this one in our uh, food additives part last week. I forgot to include this one in our vocabulary words last week. So now I'm including it. Nitrites. It is a chemical preserv preservative used in ham and sausages. It means these chemical preservatives are not good if you're going to consume it. Okay, so if you like ham and sausages, you might uh, consider in, uh, minimizing eating them. Okay, next is requirement. It is a thing that is needed or wanted. For example, uh, attendance is one of the requirement so that you will pass in our science class. Okay, so requirement, it means it is a thing that is needed, very, very important that you need to, uh, to, to pass or to give a requirement. Next is preservatives, okay? So preservatives, it is a substance that is used to preserve foodstuffs, okay? Like this, this is a, a burger from McDonald's, and if there are no preservatives, uh, the molds or the fungi will become, uh, will live there, and in a long period of time, uh, this food will be rotten, and you are not uh, able to eat them anymore. Okay, so that's why we use preservatives, not only for bread, but we use preservatives in dried fish, dried fruits, and a lot of food that we are consuming. Next, 
undigested. Okay, so the meaning of undigested is very simple. Not digested. Okay, so it is not digested. The meaning of undigested. All right. Now let's go to uh, our lesson for today. As what I have said, it is found in your book, page 23. How do we keep our digestive system healthy? Okay, because what will happen if our digestive system is not healthy? We will not, uh, we will become unhealthy as well. So we will become sickly. That is why we need to make our digestive system as healthy as possible. Because they said, uh, we are what we eat, right? If you eat a lot of junk foods, then uh, the way you think, you know, is affected by what you eat. Your energy as well. If you eat a lot of fatty foods, you become fat. So we are what we eat. Your face, the color of your, I mean, how smooth your skin is, uh, your eyes, if you cannot see clearly. There is a, there is a factor that we can always go to our digestive system. That is why we need to keep our digestive system healthy so that our body in response to that will become healthy as well. Okay, let's proceed. The number one is wash, washing our hands. So I wanted to get your notebook. I wanted to get, uh, get your notebook and uh, I want you to copy this. This should be the title. How do we keep our digestive system healthy? Okay, so this is the thing that you're going to copy there in your notebook and just copy number one. How do we keep our digestive system healthy? Number one, wash our hands. That's it. That's it for uh, your notebook. Okay, so number one is wash our hands. Washing our hands seems, you know, sounds like it's a very simple thing to do, but uh, it is very, very important for our digestive system, okay? Again, you should not highlight this in your book because I want you to copy this in your notebook with the title, how do we keep our digestive system healthy? And you write only this, okay? Do not copy the meaning below. Let's write number one, wash our hands, finish. Okay, so we need to take care again of our digestive system so that it can work properly. The first thing here is washing our hands because germs, bacteria, and viruses, we can get from our hands. I mean, if we touch a, a, paper, a money, if we touch the doorknob, we touch everything, you know, we keep on uh, using our hands. And sometimes uh, the bacteria, the viruses, you know, will go or will be attached to our hands. And if we are going to eat our food without washing our hands, what will happen? Those bacteria, germs, and all of that will go together with the food in our body. And what will happen? We will become sick. Okay, so uh, what uh, I have a question, Jirayu. Uh, is it okay not to wash my hands if I will use hand sanitizer like the Go 7 Eleven, like that, like this, and then you can eat the food now? Is that okay? Good or not? Not, yes, very good. We need to wash our hands really. Okay, we should not rely on these hand sanitizers only. It says here, we should wash our hands with soap and water. Okay, very important as well with soap and water. Sometimes we just go and then wash our hands with water only without soap, right? Just go there, wash your hands, no soap, and then done, finish. Not good. We need to wash our hands with soap and water at least how many seconds? at least 20 seconds okay so that the germs will be you know washed away on our hands that is number one very very important number two 
Number two is cook food fully. Okay, this is about cooking the food properly or fully. Okay, cooking help kill germs in the food. Okay, so we need to cook our food fully. Should be like well done, especially when we cook meat, right? When we cook meat, we need to make sure that we cook it fully and properly before we're going to eat. Because if we will not cook the meat properly, what will happen, Ginny Pop? The germs, the bacteria will not be killed, you know? It will not be killed. So if you eat those meat, the bacteria, germs, and all will go to your body. So it's not good. We need to cook them fully. What about our fruits and vegetables? We need to, what's the word here? Wash our fruits and vegetables before eating, okay? Like apple, you know, in the apple, like there's a lot of chemicals there. They put some wax and all of that. So uh, you need to uh, wash them carefully or, yeah. And also some people, they have this, Charcoal, you know, you know what is charcoal, right? Some people, they have this charcoal and they mix it with water and then they put their fruits and vegetables there. Some people, they put their fruits and vegetable, uh, uh, they're going to wash it with uh, water and salt, okay? And uh, some, they, they have a lot of techniques how to make this, you know, uh, chemicals out of from our fruits and vegetables. Well, let's proceed to number three. Number three is chew our food more. Okay, so this is my problem. This is one of my problem because you know, sometimes if I am very busy when I eat, I just eat, chew a little bit and then swallow, which is not good. We need to chew our food more. Chew, when we chew our food more, the food is, you know, becoming like very, very small and it is easily digested and absorbed by our body, okay? So we need to chew the food properly. Chewing the food properly is very, very important. This allows nutrients in the food we eat to be more easily digested and absorbed by our body, okay? So... The work of our digestive system will become easier because we chew our food more, okay? Number four. Number four is exercise regularly, okay? So regular physical activity helps prevent constipation. You know what is constipation, right? when uh, our feces will become very hard and it's very difficult for us to uh, uh, do our bowels and all of that. It is uh, one of the reason of that is that we lack exercise. It says here we need to exercise regularly, okay? So do not say, oh, you cannot go out, I cannot exercise. It says here at least 150 minutes of exercise every week. That is two and a half hour every week. Okay, so I hope you are planning or you're doing your exercise even if we are staying at home. Okay, next number, we have number five. As what I have said in your book, uh, page 23, there are only four, right? There are only four. So I want you to copy because there are, I think I included five, six, seven, eight, nine. I, add, I added five more. I added five more in how to keep our digestive system healthy. So that's why I want you to copy them. So number five is eating a high fiber diet. Okay, copy this. Eat a high fiber diet. What are the food that are rich in fiber? The food that are rich in fiber are fruits, vegetables, legumes, and whole grains. Okay, so this is the best way to improve our digestive system health. 
We need to eat food that are rich in fiber. Okay? Examples are fruits and vegetables. It will keep the our, you know, the normal process of digestion running smoothly. No problem. Helping to prevent constipation and maintain a healthy weight. Okay? So if we will eat a high fiber diet, putishan will become we will become slim. Okay, we will not become fat because we will be able to maintain a healthy weight. All right. So it's a very good thing for us to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables so that we will not become fat. Not only that, it will uh, prevent constipation. Now let's go to number six. Okay, number six is minimize your intake of foods high in fat. I will repeat, minimize or means lessen, you eat a little bit only, our intake of food in high, uh, that are high in fat, okay? Like fried chicken, fried fish, french fries, uh, you know, some like pork and all of that, they are rich in or they are foods that are high, very high in fat. So we should avoid them. Okay. Fatty foods tend to slow down the digestive process. Okay. So the process in our digestive system will become very slow if we eat fatty foods and it can lead to constipation. Okay. It will lead to constipation. So try, uh, but we need we also need fats in our body, right? We studied that one in our first lesson. We also need fats in our body, but we should try to pair these fatty items with high fiber foods to make them easier to, to digest. You say, Teacher Edward, I really want to eat uh, food that are rich in fat. So what should I do so that I will not have constipation? You balance it with the food that are rich in fibers. If you eat a lot of fatty foods, you eat a lot of foods that are rich in fiber so that there will be no constipation that will happen. But if you can eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and will not eat fatty foods, then better. Okay? Next is uh, we have number seven here. Number seven. Select lean meats. Okay, so if you go to the market, the scolotos to buy meat, you can see the white thing, right? When you buy meat, Nataya, have you seen this white thing, right? If you go to the like uh, meat section in the supermarket, you can see there that there are like uh, meat or like pork, beef, or chicken, and all of that. Try to select the food that don't have the white thing, don't have a lot of fats because these fats are not good for our body. We need protein from the meat, yes, because it's very helpful, uh, helpful for our diet, but we should avoid fatty cats of meat, okay? So those white thing, fat cats of meat, we should avoid them because... Uh, it will make the digestion difficult as what I have said. It will, you know, constipate us. So that is why it is better if we are going to choose the meat that have a lean cut, such as skinless poultry or pork loin. Okay. Next is uh, number eight. We're almost done. Second to the last. Number eight is follow a regular eating schedule. I will repeat, follow a regular eating schedule. So I will ask some of you here. Let's ask uh, Satawi, number 23. What time do you usually eat breakfast, Satawi? What time do you eat breakfast? Okay. Eight o'clock. What about Parinia? What time do you eat lunch? Lunch time. Twelve. Twelve. What about uh? What about Lalada? 
What time do you eat dinner? Uh, um, five o'clock. Hey, seventeen o'clock. Seventeen. Seventeen means uh, five. Yeah. So five p.m. Now it says here we need to follow a regular eating schedule. So that is why if you are eating like eight a.m. in the morning, you need to have the regular schedule. Like every 8 a.m. you need to eat breakfast because if you will eat very, very early, you will eat uh, today, you will eat 6 a.m. And then tomorrow you will eat like 11 a.m. And then uh, next day you will eat 8 a.m. And all of that, there is like no consistency in your eating schedule. It is not good for our digestive system. You understand? I think if you if you are already coming to school, you have a regular eating schedule, especially for lunch, right? Because after the class, all of you needs to go down and then uh, get your food, and you will eat at the same time every day. But right now, since you are there in your different abodes or houses, you don't have this. You know, sometimes all of us like we want to watch Netflix, and you and your mother say it's time to eat, and then Parinya will say no. I'm not hungry, I will eat later. Now, so, but we need to really follow our regular eating schedule so that our digestive system will be healthy. Okay? So we need to eat uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks around the same time each day to allow uh, for proper digestion of our food. Sometimes, you know, if there's no class, we eat 10 in the morning. And then we eat lunch at 12 or no, 2 p.m. And then uh, we eat dinner at 8 in the evening. So which is not healthy. So we need to have a, a follow a regular eating. So very, very important. Okay. Or else you will have a stomach ache. Your stomach will, you know, overwork and it will result to bloating or indigestion your food will not be digested which is very bad all right now let's go to the last one i believe drink plenty of water this is number nine copy this one in your number nine drink plenty of water keeping yourself hydrated is essential to your digestive health that's because fiber draws water into your colon to create bulkier yet softer stools. The word here, stools, is the same with pieces or poop. Okay, so we want to make them soft, not hard, hard as a rock. Or maybe uh, who wants their poop to become as hard as rock? Do you want? that your poop will become uh, very, very hard. Okay, so it's not good. So that's why we need to drink plenty of water and eat foods that are rich in fiber. Okay? It will make the food or the poop to pass through more easily. Okay, now we've come to our practice time. My laptop is ready now. Where's my laptop? I will turn it on and I will ask you a lot of questions. And for today, I will be giving you a lot of points because this is the last topic for our, uh, nutrition and digestive system. So today, I will ask a lot of questions and I am ready to give you a lot of points as well. Okay? So I'm expecting that uh, you are going to participate so that you will have plenty of scores as well. All right. Okay, are you ready now? Let's go. Uh, just turn on your mic, okay? And uh, we're going, I'm going to record your score. Number one, Jaina has been feeling weak after skipping breakfast. Which type of nutrients does she need the most now? No energy. So what food? 
or what nutrients? Vitamins, minerals, carbohydrates. Carbohydrate. A peewit, number 14. Your answer is? Carbohydrate. Very good. That is correct. Very good. Now let's proceed to number two. Excess or too much carbohydrate is converted to what? Converted fats. to? Fats. Nataya answered fats. Very good. Uh, Nataya, what is your number, Nataya? 24. 24. Okay, good. Now let's proceed to question number three. Which of the following is the best source of minerals? Candy, potato, chicken, or spinach? Potato. Potato. Pirapong, what is your answer? Potato. Pirapong, potato is wrong. Spinach. Yes. Natawat uh, said uh, spinach. Yes. Natawat is... Uh, what is your number, Natawat? 13. Number 13. Spinach is correct. Ah. Number four. According to Thailand's nutrition plan, we should have about blank portions of fruit per day. What is the answer? Zero, one, one to two, or three to five? Three to five. Three to five. Tanapuan, what is your number again? 32. Okay, Tanap one is number 32. There, perfect. Good. Number five, which following contains the most fats? A banana, one bowl of rice, or a fried chicken drumstick, or a carrot? A fried chicken, chicken, chicken drumstick. Chontida, what's your answer? A fried chicken drumstick. A fried chicken drumstick. What is your number, Chantida? 19. Number 19. All right. Thank you. Your answer is correct. Okay, because of the fried, right? The word fried means uh, oil. Okay, so especially the a fried chicken drumstick, it is, what is that? Uh, we call it the deep fry. So there's a lot of oil there. Now let's proceed to uh, <clears throat> here. There are many finger-like structures called villi on the inside of the small intestine. What is the function of a villi? A, they push pieces out of the body. They help absorb nutrients into our body. They mix food with saliva. They grind food into smaller pieces. What's your answer, anybody? Help to absorb nutrients into our body. What is your... Uh, who answered? Nataya? Uh, yeah, yes. What is your answer, Nataya? Can you say it again? They help absorb nutrients into our body. Are you sure with your answer, Nataya? Yes. Yes, because that is correct. Nataya is number 24. Okay, so 24. There. All right. Let's continue. <clears throat> Raj is 150 centimeter tall. His weight is 67.5 kilograms. What is his BMI? A, 0 0.003. Letter B, 3. Letter C, 30, or letter D, 300. Pirapong, go. 30. What is your answer, Pirapong? 30. 30, correct. There is no BMI as 0 0.003. Three, there is no BMI of three as well. And 300 means uh, it will not exist, right? Because it will, you will become very, 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 very fat there. So the answer there is uh, letter C. Thank you, Pirapong. Now let's go to number eight. 
Neom's BMI is 30.9. Which BMI category does he belong to? Obese. Don Rapon, what is the answer? Obese. Don Rapon says obese, which is correct. Don Rapon is, uh, what is your number, sir? Don Rapon. Can you say again, what's your number, Don Rapon, so I can record your score? Nine. Okay, don't report nine. Number nine. Which of the following does not affect a person's daily energy requirement? A, gender. Hair yes, let's have uh, Napichaya. What's your answer? Hair color. Hair color. Let us see. Correct. Napichaya is number 30, right? Am I correct? Yes. Napichaya. Okay, we'll receive a points. Thank you. Now let's ask number. Uh, okay, this is num question number ten. Which is the function of the pancreas? Function of the pancreas absorbs food into the body, produce bile, produce enzymes that digest carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, or produces saliva. C. Huh? Mm -hmm. Who answered first? Tanapon, right? What's your answer, Tanapon? C. C. Correct. Okay, thank you, Tanapon. The answer there is letter C. Now, this is a little bit difficult. You need to answer two. Okay, two correct answers this time. Proteins are digested in the blank and blank. If you will get only one point, I mean one check, one correct answer, it is invalid. You need to have two correct answers, then I will give you one point. Okay? What's your answer? A and D. A and D. Who says A and D? Number 39, am I correct? Yes. Okay. Let's see if your answers are correct. A and D. Wow, perfect. So I will give you here, here two points. Good. Now let's proceed to number 12. Which of the following are food preservatives to correct answers again? Nitrites, aspartame, sulfur dioxide, or monosodium glutamate? What's the answer? Preservatives. Chantira, come on, answer Chantira. I want uh, to give you points. Oh, you have uh, two points already, right? So if, maybe if you want more. Come on, come on. Uh, let's have Kimika, Jinipa, Purichaya. Come on, answer. So that you will have a points. You will receive a lot of points. Purama, Panatat, Parami, Tichet, and... Uh, Number 21, Satawi. Come on, answer. Number 12, uh, anybody who wants to answer number 12? This is very simple. Very, very simple. These are the two answers are all chemical preservatives. Aspartame and sulfur dioxide. I'm sorry again, Paradi, what's your answer? Aspartame and sulfur dioxide. One is correct, one is wrong. One is correct, one is wrong. So I will not give you one point. Anybody? But thank you. and aspartame. I'm sorry? Nitrites and aspartame. Nitrites and aspartame. One correct and one wrong as well. Nitrite and super dioxide. Very good. We yeah, did get this uh, correct. Nitrites and sulfur dioxide. Very good. Letter A and letter C. Very, very good. Now let's proceed to question number 13. I told you there's a lot of, oh no, we will skip this one. This are just, you know, we finished this one last time, okay? So please remember all the names here for all the parts of the digestive system. Well, let's proceed to the next question then. 
What is the function of large intestine? You can search there in your book. What is the function of large intestine? What does it absorb? Absorb water and minerals yeah. from the digest food. Very good. Pirapong got this. Correct. Pirapong is number two. Okay. It absorbs water and minerals from undigested food. Wow. It seems like Pirapong sold my answer already. Just like read the entire complete sentence with the correct answer. Amazing. Now, what about letter C? Or uh, question uh, this one. Next question. How does the teeth help in digestion? What is the, the word? Yes? The teeth grind yes. food into small pieces. Okay. The teeth will grind the food into small pieces. Oh, very good. They break food into smaller pieces so they can be easily digested by the enzyme. What is your number? 24, right? Yes. Perfect. Good. Now let's go. Let's proceed to the next question as what I have told you. You will have a lot of scores today. Okay. You will harvest a lot of scores today if you are going to participate. Here, there is a table below here. There is like a gender, age, and activity level, low, moderate. A moderate means we study moderate like it's normal. And this one is high. So Alina is a 30-year-old female here, female 30. She is an artist. What is her daily energy requirement? So what is the answer? 2,000? 2,200 or 2,400? 2,000. 2,000 is wrong. 2,200. 2,200 is correct. 2,200. Who said 2,200? Who said 2,200? I think there were two people, right? Two people who said... Uh, Tanapon and who? Okay, so I'll just give it to Tanapon, number 32. Okay. All right, what about Tushar? Tushar is, uh, or Tashar is an 18-year-old male. 18, male. He is an athlete. What is his daily energy requirement? What's the answer? 8,200. What? 3,200. 3,200, number 24. Very good. Okay, 24. Why uh, he needs more? Because he is an athlete, right? Very good. 3,200. Now let's proceed to question number, uh, this one, number 14, letter C. Ukuro is a third. 30-year-old male. Okay, here, yeah, 30 male. He is permanently, permanently on a wheelchair. Maybe he met an accident or he was born like, uh, there is like illness. He is on a wheelchair. So what is his energy requirement daily? What is your answer? 2,300. Uh, Paradi, what is your answer, Paradi? 2,600 kilocalories. Okay, so Paradi, I will give this one to Paradi. Uh, okay, very good, Paradi. Now, I will, those people who have a lot of scores already, like Nataya, uh, those people who uh, have a lot of scores, Let's give chance to our friends, okay? To your classmates who don't have a score yet. Okay, so the answer is 2,600. What about letter D? Who can answer this? What can happen to a person who takes in less calories, so very little calories than needed? Gain weight or lose weight? Anybody? Putisan, number one, what will happen? Gain weight? Will a person gain weight or will a person lose weight? 
What about napichaya? If you will eat less, very little calories, you will take in very little calories, what will happen napichaya? Will you gain weight, gain weight, or lose weight? Uh, we will lose weight. Very good. Uh, number 30, I give you points because your answer is correct. The person will start to lose weight. Okay. Next question, letter E. As an egg. Okay. What can happen to a person who takes in more calories, more calories this time than uh, what a person needs? What will happen? Gain weight or lose weight? Come on. Gain weight. Okay, super weight. Very good. Number 25. The person will start to gain weight. Very good. Now let's... Uh, all right. I think this is uh, the last part of our lesson for today. This is found in your book, right? What page is this in your book? Nataya, what page is this in your book? Can you see this on the screen? What page is that? 24. 24, very good. Now I want you to answer page 24. I will be giving you maybe uh, how much? How much or how long you can answer this, Chuntida? Two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. Chuntida, how long you'll be able to finish this? Two minutes. Two minutes? Oh, wow. Okay, so two minutes. I will. I was expecting you say three or five, but you said two minutes. So I will make my, I will start my timer here. I'll start my timer. Where, where's the camera? Here. I will start at uh, two minutes. It starts now. Okay. Two minutes. And uh, while you are doing it, please turn on your uh, video or camera so that I'll be able to see you. Okay, good. Good, Chayang Kol. What about Purama? Tanakit, Puri Chaya. Very good, Jerapat. I can see Lalada now. Puri Chaya, Kimika, number 37. Uh, Purama, I cannot uh, see you. Okay. Tan Pisit, turn on your... Oh my God, who is this? Number 34. What Charawit? Your picture is uh, very creepy, no? So turn on your camera. It's better. All right. Okay, so one minute and uh, 20 seconds at best. You only have 40 seconds more to finish. Okay, I think it's, uh, yeah, time's up. 
Okay. So let me see your let me see your book. If you answered already, let me see your book. Can I see your book now before we're going to check? Let me see your book. I want to see your book. Okay, Satawit, very good. Satawit, very good. Uh, who is this? Parinia, very good. Chuntida, okay. Okay, good, good, good. What about the rest? Okay, Tanapon, very good. Paradi, very good. Tanakit, uh, you're done? Done? Okay, Don Rapon, I can see your window. Parichaya? Okay, uh, yeah, nap Napichaya is finished as well. What about uh, Suwa Pitch? Are you done? Finish? Not finished yet. Uh, Nataya, finish? Finish? Okay, good, good, good. All right, so. Okay, here. So I'm going to reveal the answers now let's uh but we're going to check this one together okay so uh first question of course here fill in the blanks with the words provided in the box below so there are words here that you're going to use in order to answer five questions here number one fiber is a type of what's your answer here uh jirayu what is your answer here in number one? Fiber is a type of? Carbohydrate. Very good. That is not digested by the human body. Very good, Jirayu. What about number two? Uh, let's ask this one, number 29. When we do not take in enough carbohydrates and fats, our body can use blank to produce energy. This one, number 29, what's your answer? Yes. What's your answer? What's your answer? We are, I am waiting for you, Disorn. Number 29, what's your answer? It seems like there is a problem there. What about Napichaya? What's your answer here, Napichaya? Number two, what's your answer? Napichaya. Napichaya, what's your answer? When we do not take in enough carbohydrates and fats, our body can use what? Okay. Uh, let's ask uh, Natawat. Natawat. What is your answer for number two? Proteins. Very good, Natawa, thank you. Our body can use proteins to produce energy. Very good. Now let's ask uh, Parinia this time, number 10. Food preservatives such as blank allows food to be stored for a longer time without going bad. So what is an example here of a food preservatives? Tarinia? It begins with letter S. Yes, Tarinia, what's your answer? Uh, let's uh, give it to Satawit. What is your answer, number 23? What's your answer here for number three? Turn on your camera, turn on your uh, mic, Satawit. Very good, sulfur dioxide, very good. Yay, Satawit got this correct. What about number four? Let's ask 
para mi number 16. What is your answer for number four? Liver. The liver produces bile, which helps in digestion of fats in the small intestine. Correct. Very good. Number 16. What about, uh, let's ask, who can answer Tanakit? Tanakit number 18. What is your answer for number five? Uh, mm, uh, uh, I, I don't feel that you. Yeah, what's your answer? It's okay if your answer is wrong. Fat. Fat, okay. Fat is wrong. Uh, what about Jirapat, number 27? What is your answer for number five? Jirapat? Are you there? Yes. What's your answer, please, for number five? Stomach. Stomach. Okay, it is pronounced stomach. The acid in the stomach helps kill germs in the food. Okay, can you raise your hand if you got all the, like five over five? Can you raise your hand? And let's see how many people got a perfect score. Okay, so far there are 13. Okay, it's still going up. How many people got a perfect score? 16. All right, good, good, good. 17, 18. Okay, so thank you for those uh, students who did their best and uh, got all the perfect scores. I mean, got the... All, uh, got all the correct answers. I want you to put your hands down now. Okay. And uh, that concludes our lesson for today. Good job, everybody. Good job. <laughs> now, let's have a short review on what we've studied today before we're going to end. Okay. Uh, these are the vocabulary words. Digestion, absorption, enzyme, Saliva, toxins, uh, feces. Okay, if you want to watch the video that uh, we watched earlier, you can search it in YouTube, Digestive System by uh, Dr. Rhinox Show. Okay, and uh, safety alert again for COVID since we're still uh, under this pandemic. And uh, please remember to follow these guidelines or I'm sure you are all, we are all familiar with this. You need to stay home if it is possible. If it is very necessary to go outside, we need to practice social distancing, washing our hands regularly, sanitizing our hands regularly and not touching our eyes, mouth and nose. And last one, very important, wear our mask properly. So that concludes our lesson for today. But do not go away yet because we're going to take a picture. All right. Okay, so we are going to take a picture. Wait, I will make this one bigger.